Guys, hear me out. I know we haven't done a quiz in a while. We've been covering the NBA Finals. The refs won. They're NBA champs. I, I think we just do basketball stuff now. Uh, we're dropping the hockey team. We're a basketball team now. Ball in. I'm in. Let's go. Flash bros. Hoop 27 Central. I don't know what 27 Central is, but I'm in. Seal this with a hoop. All right, shots each. All right, shots them. each. He didn't want it! Bar down, mix tape. Gotta get the mix tape. He's heating up! Down, mix tape. It's gotta be jam, jam, jam. Jelly don't shake like that. Gotta get the mix tape. Bar Swish. down, mix tape. Hey man, got that tape. Hey man. Hockey, hockey. Yeah, yeah, hockey. We're stick to hockey. hockey. We're gonna stick to hockey. Hockey? Yeah. hockey Sunday? We're doing hockey, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, hockey on Sunday. Let's yeah. let's hockey. see that. We are back. We are back. Oh, baby. Oh. We are back. We were working the NBA Finals, which which took the majority of our time because we do have real jobs outside of just making these videos. Uh, so we appreciate your patience in between uh, in between season two and three. I'm a basketball guy now. Look, got some new socks to prove it. Okay. My Looney Tune socks. Guys, never entered the room with a pair of shoes on. Look at bugs. Here we are. First quiz of the season. As the people who watched our changes to the quiz video would know, uh, two new rule changes will be implemented in this quiz. The first one, there's now a lifeline. Now the lifeline does not kick in until you're past the bonus round. Oh, come on! What? <laughs> Whoa, what kind of lifeline? Well, every quiz, the lifeline will change. This time around, it's multiple choice. If you select to use your lifeline, I will give you multiple options this time around. What does that mean for the bonus? It's still the same thing. Yes, you, in the incredibly small Florida Panthers jersey. So basically, is this just to make the quiz easier for Jesse? Just have to say you have to get past the bonus round to use the lifeline. The second rule change. You're really not gonna like this one. There is now a punishment for being the first person out. That's fine, cause Sam's in this quiz, right? <laughs> Elitist rule making. Glisterman. You're in for a tough go, Glisterman. Now, you won't find out what that punishment <laughs> is until that person appears in a quiz again. I didn't even agree to this when I walked in. You just said, hey, do you want to be in a quiz today? All right, so you guys clearly know why you're here today. We're doing a quiz, but do you know what the quiz is on? Uh, smallest jerseys. You win. Today's quiz topic will be the 2018-2019 NHL season. Wow, okay. That makes sense. Consider this almost like a yearbook or like a time capsule. I think I've picked out some of the best moments, the best highlights, and have made them into 10 questions for today's quiz. So even if you don't know the answer, hey, you might learn something. I guess I have to watch the rest of the quiz once I get eliminated. That's, <laughs> that is harsh. <laughs> you almost forgot is we also introduced uh, a new belt. That, yes, um, we have a new belt. As season two's champion, you, you, you walk into season three with this. I got to be a champion that shows up every quiz. Can't have any flukas. I got to do my best for the people. You got to wear wrestling shirts where they knock off other brands. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> How much copyright law is avoided in wrestling? Pro wrestling tees doesn't deal with copyright <laughs> laws, apparently. <laughs> it, as far as lawsuits go, never, never lost. lost. <laughs> All right, so as always, there's 10 questions. We also have that bonus round in the middle. And it's a one strike system. So without further ado, let, let, let's get this started. Um, how about let's go? Let's go, baby. We're back in the quizzes and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get the belt. Mine this season. You ready? Yeah. Question number one. What a bunch of jerks. Us? I'm a jerk. Uncalled for. Talking about me, eh? What the hell is going on here? Is this some kind of <laughs> wordplay? Right. Not you guys. You guys aren't jerks. But oh, yeah. You're the, the best. The Carolina Hurricanes stirred up controversy with their exuberant post-game team celebrations. What do they call their celebration? Storm surge. The storm surge. The storm surge. The storm surge, baby. No, you're not gonna go on question one. This was meant to be a softball, Sam. You're slow playing this. No, no, I'm not. It's gotta be a dumb pun or something like that if it's that easy. Oh my God. I actually don't know. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> guess who's getting punished? Hold on, hold on. I hate this so much. I don't know, like the- Sam. Yeah, I don't know. 
I'm out. I I, I have nothing. I <laughs> he's, taking his, he's doing it again. I, I Guys, he's done it once. He's taken the mic off before. Guys, I've... I uh I will be punished in the next quiz, but uh who knows if this quiz will be my last. It, Sam, it was the storm. It was the storm surge. It was... That's a terrible name. Get out of here. That's what they called it. Storm surge. <laughs> no, it's a bunch of jerk celebrations. No, even it's it was not. Sick. It was sick. I don't know. I don't know. I'm out. Get out of here. Storm surge. <laughs> All right, let's move on to question two. In what was their debut season, this NHL star transcended the game of hockey, appearing on both SNL and on The Tonight Show, becoming a pop cultural hit in the process. Who am I talking about? And it was their rookie season. In their debut season. Uh-oh, does Luca not know? Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh no, Jesse. Um. Okay, okay, so you're trying to trick me off the bat. Question number two, hoping I screw up. Well, you know what? Not today, Mr. Z, because you know who you're talking to? The mascot power ranker himself. Gritty, gritty. That was our dad bod mascot. No, not Patrick Maroon. I'm talking about gritty. It me, it gritty. Oh, you're not talking about a player. You're not talking about a coach. You're talking about gritty. If you look back, there was a moment where I was like, oh God, what? Like, was Jordan Bennington? on the Tonight Show? Like, <laughs> I the, can answer that for you. No. <laughs> no, he was not. I guarantee Too much you. personality. <laughs> Pretty exciting hockey. Do I look nervous? No. What was your answer? Whoa, too much. <laughs> Just a great press conference for him. Time person of the year. Gritty is the goat. Oh my goodness, I got so scared there for a second. Okay, question three. In the third season of a cushy seven-year deal. Wait, 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 sorry, you can't use that word. I can't use the word cushy? That's a weird word, man. That's like moist. Oh my god. It just sounds hey, weird, cushy. Grow up, and I don't even mean literally. Okay, whatever, man. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, in the third season of a cushy seven-year deal, this forward went 41 games without scoring a goal. He went 41 games without scoring a goal? Whoever this person was sucks. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Milan Lucic. It's Lucic, right? The big man who's heading out of Edmonton probably very soon. It's Milan Lucic. Oh, it's between two players now. The people that we made fun of a lot for not scoring goals were Patrick Laine at one point and Milan Lucic. But Laine doesn't have a contract, so I'm going with Lucic. I know a bunch of you like the uh, thumb league stuff <laughs> we did. Oh boy, we shredded Milan Lucic. Yeah, Lucic, just not great. <laughs> Tough but fair. <laughs> not gonna argue with you. All right, question four. All right, baby, fire me up. Question four. Henrik Lundqvist proved that even kings cry as the Swedish legend shed a tear at the deadline when his Rangers teammate was dealt. Who was traded and what team were they traded to? Ah, oh, this one broke my heart too because a lot of people say I look like him. The Norwegian god, man they call the Zucchini. Rangers fans, I love... Henrik Lundqvist, and he was so sad to see Matt Zuccarello go to Dallas. Well, Matt Zuccarello went over to the Dallas Stars. It was Matt Zuccarello. He was traded to Christian's Dallas Stars. Matt Zuccarello traded to the Stars? You don't want to see Henrik crying. No. It's tough. He's a good friend. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Man, that guy's just been an absolute horse for that team. Honestly, even though he's in the Central, kind of hope to see Matt stick with the Stars. I liked him there. He look good in green. Let's see if this next question looks good on you. Question five. This is easy. <laughs> yes! That was essentially what one NFL superstar basically said when he stated that with six months training, he could probably crack an NHL roster. Which NFLer made this bold claim? By the way, players were so pissed when this happened. I mean, that's just not possible. He said that? Has he ever skated before? I don't even know when I almost slap somebody. My reflexes just slap people. That's amazing. This, this is my favorite thing that he ever I know we've already shouted at Thumb League, but there's a Thumb League and he has this line and I, he goes, he's Jalen Ramsey in net and he's just standing there. This is easy. This is easy. The person that said it is the guy with like the biggest mouth in football, Jalen Ramsey. It was Jalen Ramsey. Let's get that guy in the bar down office, in some hockey gear. I want to take you on. I want to drop the minis with you, Jalen, and you're going to whip my butt. I remember the story. Oh, I don't remember the name though. So I'm just going to take a loss on this one. Well, at least you're not the first person out. Oh, thank you, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I like thank you, you knew Sam. right away. You're like, and it was oh, Sam. Oh, thank God. I'm it was like, Sam. Oh. Bonus round. <laughs> Before we continue on with this quiz, Hey, why not give us a like? Why not get us back on the trending page? We appreciate everything. Thank you.
You know what we don't enjoy and appreciate? The bonus round! Screw you, bonus round! Me. Yeah, those meme accounts really rip on you at the bonus uh, round. Uh, Let's see how you do. Memes of bar down. Katie underscore chicken underscore spam. Great videos, keep them up. You know this works. 30 seconds, right when I'm done reading the question, you gotta supply me with the answer. Here it comes. In the 2018-19 season, six players managed to score 100 points or more. Name five. Connor McDavid. I'm Connor McDavid. Connor McDavid. Sidney Crosby. Sidney Crosby. Sidney Crosby. A Patrick Kane. Patty Kane. Leon Dreisaitl. Leon Dreisaitl. Brad Marchand. I was going to say Johnny Goudreau, but I don't think he did. Nikita Kucherov. Nikita Kucherov. Nikita Kucherov. Act four, just need one more. Johnny Kucherov. Yo! Man, I don't know what it is with the bonus rounds. It's not him, by the Goudreau way. Goudreau got 99 and so did Brad Marchand. Brad Marchand got 100. No, I was gonna say Marchand. I thought he had 99. No, he did not. Idiot. So you got a bonus and you're gonna have your lifeline. Woo! It's been activated. Lifeline! The lifeline. Woo! Am I gonna use it on six? <laughs> Seems likely. Trap card, here we come. The trap card. Yugi! Kaibo? Here it is, question six. It's been nearly 40 years since a player both led the league in penalty minutes and scored 30 goals or more. But in the 2018-19 season, someone did it. Who was it? Someone's probably about to use their lifeline, aren't they? Lifeline. Yeah, give me the lifeline. <laughs> Here it is. Here's your options. Brad Marchand, Evander Kane, Max Domi, Tom Wilson. Evander Kane. Evander Kane. Evander Kane, final answer. Yeah, you got it right. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't Evander Kane? Yeah, it was Evander Kane. Oh, believe you. It was a low amount for penalty minutes. He had like 150 something. Exactly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, well, I don't know, probably Tom Wilson's up there. If he hadn't missed as many games as he did, he probably would have had the lead. <laughs> I mean. Probably have more money too. Yeah. <laughs> in case you're wondering, Tiger Williams back in 1980, that was the last person to do it. You don't get people who lead the league in penalty minutes and scoring 30 goals all that often. You now have no lifeline and no bonus. All right, question seven. Crossing the finish line less than a second behind Connor McWheels, McDavid, this female hockey star became one of the first women to compete in the NHL All-Stars Skills Competition. Kendall Coyne Schofield. Kendall Coyne. I don't know. Come on. Don't say I don't know. Let's say someone. Hillary Knight. That is incorrect, Jesse. And he's already taking his mic off. Screw this, man. I'm cruising. She was flying out there in the skills comp. I don't think I've won since December. You should see my apartment. It's up in shambles. It's so messy. It's like I'm a lost soul because I haven't won a bar down quiz. It's insane. There's like pasta sauce on the walls. Uh, I don't think I've cleaned my toilet in like maybe, I guess, more than four months now. Get that mic out of your face. You sound like a helicopter pilot. It is in shambles. Shambles. Stuff on the walls. Haven't done the garbage. You're in shambles. Movies. We're yeah. done here. We're done here. Yeah. So you automatically have an assist in the last two questions. Wow. Question eight. Here it is. Minus the Tampa Bay Lightning, every team that John Tavares met with in free agency went on to go farther in the playoffs than the team he eventually chose, <laughs> the Maple Leafs. <laughs> That's rude. It's rude to me too, but hey. Okay. Why don't we, why don't we cut the laughter a little here, buddy? <laughs> Pajama boy. You're worse than that Long Island loser. Snake. Pajama, Pajama boy. boy. Anyways, the rest of this question. Yeah. So the, which four teams went further than the Leafs in the playoffs and were teams that John Devers met with in free agency? Uh, so I know one of them is the San Jose Sharks that beat my Colorado Avalanche. San Jose. I guess the Islanders count because like he met with them too. So New York Islanders. The Islanders. St. Louis Blues, who eventually went on to win the Stanley Cup. That was another one. <laughs> no, the small one? Mr. Smug, uh, looks like you just lost a bonus. Crap, who are the other two teams? The Stars and the Bruins? Ah, oh, Bruins and Stars, yeah. I have two lifelines for the final thing. Yeah, I mean, you, you only need one, so. Oh, so I'm at final boss, no matter what. Pretty much, because the, the bonus just makes you skip. You can, get, you can get this wrong, and you probably will, because it's hard. Your bonus is gone, Yeah. and so is your lifeline. Yep. Question nine, here it is. Before the St. Louis Blues miraculous mid-season turnaround, two of their players made headlines when they had a full tilt in practice. Can you name both players involved in the fight? Damn it, I can name one of them. I don't know the second. Robert Bortuzzo. It's Robert Bortuzzo, and I don't know the second. I feel like the other guy was just like a, a relevant player. I hope this person's not watching the quiz. <laughs> <laughs> one of the rudest things to call somebody irrelevant. Thanks, Skip Bayless. <laughs> you hate to see it. Man, I wrote the post on this, and I posted the video on Instagram, and it crushed. I don't know, like I'm gonna guess 
Joel Edmondson. It's between like Maroon and Sunquist for me, but like I don't think it's either one of those players. I'm gonna go with Sunquist. Sure, why not? He seems like a guy that might want to fight in practice. And you seem like a guy who needs to get the hell out of this room. Who was it? It was Zach Sanford. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> he scored in the clinching game, I'm pretty sure, for them. I didn't even use my lifeline. You made it at here anyways. I know, but I could have at least been like perfect. You'll be back home, don't worry. I know I know it's a sad moment. It's always a sad moment when a grown man is talking to an inanimate object. You don't have to cry, okay? Here it is. The final boss. <laughs> oh, I might rip my jersey. Uh, uh, the look to your left, look to your right, look down the center. It's time to fight. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light! Okay, here it is. You know this works. It's incredibly hard. That's it. The rest of this quiz felt too easy. Um, sorry guys, I'm gonna crank up the difficulty a little bit next time around. But, rest assured, this last question, it's hard. No one's getting it fully right. But let's see if you can try. From worst to first, list what place each team in the NHL finished in in the 2018-19 season. Easy one off the top. Sense. So you got one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay, I'm gonna guess Red Wings next. You got one right. <laughs> Is it the Kings? Yeah. I'm guessing that wasn't enough. I'm like... You know, strangely enough, it was, which is pathetic, because that was <laughs> one out of 31. So no one else even made it there? Yeah, you were on your own here. No one even made it this far. Wow. Here we go. Starting the season off right. The new belt is yours. Winner's circle. I said I'm turning over a new leaf, okay? I'm being nice, and there's a reason I'm wearing this Panthers jersey. You, you already said multiple people suck in this video, so <laughs> I, I don't know what this being nice is. I don't remember that. Uh... Milan Lucic does. <laughs> so does Zach Sanford, who you called irrelevant. I mean, am I wrong? I mean, I don't care if you're right or wrong. <laughs> you're just not nice, new leaf. Whatever, okay, continue. Okay, I want to be nice to the Panthers fans because... Because Barkov isn't. That's my thing. So what the hell, Barkov? <laughs> like, your fans don't go through enough, and then you go out and you win a trophy about sportsmanship, and you absolutely shred them. Shaded. The yeah, at the beginning of your speech. What was that? Florida Panthers fans, uh, that was just rude of Barkov, so... I think if your team was good, you'd be just as good as fans as Tampa Bay. Everybody's raving about them. That's just because their team's good. So don't worry about it. Maybe one time you'll actually make the playoffs and then and then you'll be good fans throwing rats on the ice. Yeah, and if you're not, you'll be like Tampa and probably just half split your team or at least try to. <laughs>